Escape from Tarkov can be one of the most soul-crushing, heart-destroying, punishing experiences that there is in the gaming space. But with today's Tarkov tips and tricks, I want to make the experience a lot less like putting needles into your eyes and a bit more like, well, burning the roof of your mouth on some pizza. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's going to be all sunshine and roses, but it will make your experience that much more enjoyable. Now, by far, one of the most important tips I can give you in this video is something that I still struggle with a lot myself, and that is do not overextend. Overextending in Escape from Tarkov is going to get you killed so much, and it's going to make your experience that much more frustrating. And what I mean by not overextending is by taking any sort of win that you can. For example, on like the first day of the wipe, I was looking for my Salua's, I went into factory and I found one within like the first five minutes. Now, I didn't want to risk losing the Salua, so I went straight to the exit. What I should have done is just stayed there, quiet, tried not to make any noise, so that that Salua was still found in raid and then extracted. However, what happened was, is I heard a couple people crossing the bridge, I looked up and tried to take a shot. Now, there's two reasons I shouldn't have done this. Number one, I had an MP5, which isn't the best at that sort of range. And number two, well, to put it bluntly, I'm completely dog and there was no way in hell I was ever going to hit that shot in the first place, so why did I even bother? So upon realizing my mistake, I ran back to the extract and decided that I needed to just go and wait for it. Did you hear that? That is the sound of me absolutely crapping my pants and bam, one second away from extraction, I get shot in the head. Now, this is obviously quite an extreme example. However, it does ring true for a lot of situations you yourself will find yourself in Escape from Tarkov. If you have just completed a quest or if you have something in your bag that you need for the hideout or you need to turn in for a different quest, just get out. Take that victory. Don't overextend. Don't push those gunshots you hear in the distance. Don't try and take on a four man because you think it will make a wicked clip. Just extract, reset and take the win. Now, Another thing that I need to tell you about is to use the 762 PS ammo. This ammo is going to be absolutely essential if you want to make it through these early raids in the white. The problem with it is, is that in patch 0.13, it's actually been nerfed and you can no longer buy it on level one traders. However, the tip that I want to give you is, is that there are so many scavs scattered around Tarkov that will have this ammo in an SKS. And this means that every single scav that you or your friends kill, even if your friends don't want to loot it, is always worth making sure you check their pockets and their rig for that sweet, sweet 762 PS. Because this ammo is seriously good, especially in this early part of the wipe. Now, another two quick tips that I really want to just go over quickly is something to do with how you are dressed. And I'm not talking about sweating it out until you can afford that lovely little puffer jacket that people like to wear in their late wipe. No, what I'm talking about is a face covering and at least a packer. These two things are going to be essential in making sure you don't die in extremely frustrating ways. The reason I'm saying wear like a balaclava or something to cover your face is because your little white mug poking through the trees is going to stick out like a sore thumb. This means that you can easily get headshotted when you don't even know that someone is looking at you. And then the reason I'm saying a packer is because scavs are absolutely deadly little shits and they will not hesitate in one shotting you with 7 mil buck to your thorax. So at least if you spend that like 20, 30 K on a packer, you're going to be safe from having those extremely annoying one shot deaths. And then finally, I have a little bit more of like a specific tip that's going to help you with some early quests. For a lot of these early quests, like, like delivery from the past, for example, you're going to need a specific key. And these keys can be very, very hard to find if you're just looking through jackets. However, there are a number of barters in Escape from Tarkov that you can use to get these keys early. The most notable being the Tarkov Director's Office Key that you need for delivery for the past. For this, all you're going to need is two squash, two ice cream drinks, and four crackers. And these will be able to be bartered for the Tarkov Director's Office Key. This means that you'll be able to get ahead and get this quest done as early as possible, but also this little room can actually be really good for loot if you're passing by whilst you're playing customs. And if you're new to the game and you're just learning customs, this is a really good spot to learn so that you can at least loot like a safe, three PCs, a couple jackets, etc. This will get you off to a good start. And nine times out of ten, when you're looking in these safes, you can find things like flash drives or horses or little valuable trinkets that you can shove up your little butthole. And then at least if you get killed, you're still going to be making a profit when you do eventually get out of the raid. Now, the only issue is with this barter and some other things that you might need earlier on an escape from Tarkov, like the MP133 from Jaeger 1 for the debut quest from Prapor, is that at the moment there are so many people online trying to utilize these barters or buy these shotguns from Jaeger, etc. So, what I'm going to tell you to do is use the EFT ammo.com trader timers. This will allow you to look through the timers and see when each of these traders are going to reset, which you can have up on your phone or on a second monitor. And it means that you'll be able to time your raids to see when these traders are going to reset. Or if you're not even playing Escape from Tarkov and you're just watching TV and 
and you see that they're about to reset in like 10 minutes, you can hop on to Tarkov for a little bit and then just make sure that you're there on the trader reset to buy or barter the items that you need. These tips here are going to help you absolutely breeze through some of these early tasks and it's going to mean that you don't get left behind in quest locked behind keys or shotguns that you cannot find. But anyway, that's about it for this short little Tarkov video, guys. I really hope that it helps some of you guys out. And for those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I love to see who sticks around until the end. So if you're still here, I'd like you to let me know by answering this question down in the comments. How long have you been playing Escape from Tarkov? Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Average Joel. Peace.